Here we're looking at uh, about a 60 year old house with an issue with the eaves. And if we take a closer look, we can see that this is rotted out quite significantly. So the question is, how bad is it? Well, we need to take the gutter off first. And the question is, how do you get a 50 foot gutter off by yourself? Um, you can use rope. You can use uh, an old two by four with some holes drilled in it. And um, you can anchor that to your chimney and put the rope through the holes in the board, tie them off and run each length of rope down to where you think you're going to need to support the gutter as you're taking it apart. You can use a ratchet with an 8 or 10 millimeter socket to remove the main bolts and use a, a zip tie running that through the, the bolt hole in the uh, gutter. Then you can uh, tie your rope to that zip tie that way your rope won't be digging into the uh, sharp, potentially sharp edge of the gutter itself. As I start loosening the uh, the bolts on the gutter, you can see that it's starting to starting to pull away uh, on the far end, and you can see where the ropes are holding onto the anchors there. So that's really what's supporting the gutter as I start removing these these bolts. Once the gutter's removed, and you can see that it's just hanging down here out of the way, you can see how bad this fascia board is. And it's just deteriorated, and you just pull on it lightly, it breaks apart. So this was in desperate need of being replaced. And you can get an idea of how long the segment is that's affected here. So the question now is, how bad is it underneath there? And what are the main culprits here? In this particular case, it was obvious that there were no drip edge installed the last person that's installed the roof and the gutters were not cleaned well or not cleaned frequent enough uh, to keep the water from building up over the edges. Now with the uh, fascia board gone, we get a, a first look at what's happening underneath here. You can see uh, the edges of some of the roof, uh, roof joists are uh, decayed and you can see the soffit is decayed and busting up as well. And then I get to a point where it's actually starting to get into good wood. So anything to the right of where I started cutting here is all solid. I just need to scrape it and repaint it. So what I'm gonna do is try to remove the rest of the rotted board. So I've taken a miter saw or a back saw. I've just been sawing up and down on here so that I can uh, use that to uh, anchor the new board. So here's the uh, miter saw, miter back saw that I've been using. And it seems to fit uh, pretty well up in that space uh, so that I can actually cut a nice um, a nice straight segment without having to pull that fascia board down. Now that I've got that all cut through with the miter saw, try to peel this back. Ooh, okay. Now I've got uh, now I've got a good place to uh, anchor the new board that I'm going to put in there. Since the ends of some of these, um, this roof truss is really torn up by decay, putting nails or screws into here is not going to be good for holding. In order to get the soffits out, um, I found it necessary to actually uh, cut with a regular hand saw on specific locations. You can see where I've got the hand saw here. I'm cutting between. Um, the roof trusses to be able to knock some and after I'm out. making those cuts in the soffit um, on either side of the um, the roof truss I'm kind of banging up on that cut area with a sledgehammer to knock those pieces up so I'm slowly taking this out chunk by chunk to make it a bit easier for me once I get the main sections of the soffit removed uh, then I've got some some better angle here to go ahead and pull this this molding off. So I'm going to get my pry bar underneath here and pull the molding off all along there so I can get these remaining pieces out that are directly underneath the roof trusses. So once that molding is dropped down, now I have access to these remaining pieces that just knocked down so you can see how how that molding was attached in there with these long screw uh, long nails 
for the end of the soffit that I'm going to try to mate up with the the soffit that's still good. What I've done is uh, I've drawn a line here with um, with a square, and uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and cut that. And you can see that that's off center with respect to the existing support. So I'm going to put um, another board on this side that will line up with. Um, the section here of the new board so I can screw that in. I chose a jigsaw for this particular cut because I figured I could get a much straighter cut rather than using a handsaw. So now what you're seeing now is what's left after you remove the soffit and the fascia board. And the key to rebuilding some integrity to this structure so you can actually reattach a new fascia board and a new soffit is to put new wood on this and so what i've done is i've actually taken some decking uh, material and screwed that into the existing existing roof supports and so what that allows you to do is basically rebuild the strength here and um, th the key here is to make sure that the screws are going into the older wood where the older wood still has a lot of integrity. And that, um, you know, that should do the trick. And again, I'd like to remind you that even though the very ends of the roof trusses are kind of rotted out, most of that is still in really good shape. And most of the other supports in there are in really good shape. So if you can tap into that and uh, put a new board in, you're good to go. From this picture you should be able to see where most of the actually most of the boards up here that were that were used to support the uh, fascia and the soffit have been replaced with the decking so we've got a good solid basis to put on uh, new material on so i got a sheet of half inch thick plywood four by eight sheet i'm going to cut it up into one foot wide sections uh, to replace the soffit For the soffit, we had to um, use a couple of boards. So where the new soffit meets the old, this is what that looks like. And then we had, um, that's about an eight foot section. And then there's a break down here. Uh, we had another five foot section. So I had put the soffit up in two pieces, cut out of that four by eight sheet of half inch plywood, just screwed in with two inch decking screws. Now that we've got the soffit on, uh, we're getting ready to put the uh, fascia board on. But uh, as you can see in here, I've got some wiring that used to go to uh, a corner lamp that was hung underneath the uh, soffit here. So before I put the fascia board back on, I'm gonna cut a hole in the uh, soffit, run the wires down through there Since the existing fascia boards actually had, um, are, were cut at an angle to kind of match uh, the angle of the roof, I, um, I'm going to go ahead and do the same thing so it kind of all looks like it's together. And so what I've done is I've made a mark here and I've set my circular saw to cut at a 45 degree angle. And uh, I'm using this mark here to kind of guide this part. Um, of the saw. I'm just going to cut along the length of it to get a bevel of 45 degrees cutting like that and I'll show you what it looks like in the end. You can see how the existing uh, fascia board is angled so I've matched that angle with the new board. Getting close to the end of the project, so I need to take some video of myself just to prove that I did the work and the last board, so I'm psyched. All done, there you have it. Soffit and fascia board replaced for about a 15 foot section of rotted eaves mates perfectly with the old. As far as that lower uh, decking board being decayed, I will replace that when I replace uh, the new roof.